Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Vipul Gupta. I hope you guys are doing great and enjoying this SQL interview preparation series. So guys, today I am back with another interview problem. This problem has been part of Agoda's data analyst interview and in this video, we will be discussing the problem statement and the step by step solution. Guys, I always keep on saying that whenever you find a problem statement difficult, just try to break it into simpler steps then it will become as easy as a pie. So guys, today's problem is a perfect example of this thing. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. But before getting started, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any update regarding the upcoming videos. So guys, let's get started. All right. So guys, now we are at the MySQL workbench. So first of all, let's understand the problem statement. What is the ask of this problem statement, right? So here it is mentioned that you are given two tables, flights and airports, right? So guys, here we have two tables, flights and airports. Now each row in the flight table depicts the information of a flight, the code of departure port and code of destination port, right? So guys, here we have a flight table and every row in the flight table is depicting the flight information. So here we have two columns, start port and the end port. So start port is depicting the, des, uh, the departure port and the code of destination port is depicting the final destination port, right? Now, in the second table, that is airport table, each row is depicting the information about an airport, right? So, guys, in this table, we have two columns, the city name and the port code. So, each row is depicting the information about a particular airport. So, we have the name of the city where the airport has been established and the port code right now further it is mentioned that each port code is assigned to at most one airport that is there is no duplicacy in the airports right so each port code is just assigned to a single city right now it has been asked that we need to write an sql query that finds all the cities through which a flight from new york to tokyo may pass if the passenger wants to make exactly one change of flights all right so guys in simpler words we can say that we need to find all the intermediate cities that will come in way when a person is taking a flight from new york to tokyo right and also it is mentioned that we need to find only those cities through which a passenger may pass if he just wants to make exactly one change of flights right so guys if a person is taking flight from new york to tokyo we just need to find those cities which will come in the way and we don't want to include those cases where a person is making multiple changes of flights, right? And moving further, it is mentioned that we need to assume that there is no flight with the same start port and end port. That is, there is no duplicacy in the flights table, right? So guys, it is mentioned over here that we are given two tables, flights and airports. So let's write some basic select statements to explore these two data sets, right? So for this, I will be writing select star from flights. So let's execute this. All right. So guys, in the flights table, we have these two columns start port and end port right and we are given the codes of the ports right now let's explore the second table that is airports so select star from airports let's execute this all right so in the airports table we have the city name and the port code so corresponding to this port code jfk the city name is new york right and again, corresponding to this port code LGA, the city name is New York. That is, in this particular city, New York, we have two port codes, right? So guys, now let's proceeding further. On the basis of our understanding of this problem, let's make some pointers. And we are going to refer those while writing the final query, right? So, first of all, in the select statement, what do we want to print? We want to print intermediate cities right and we want to print the city name right so this is the first thing all right now 
second thing is the starting point equals to new york right and end point is tokyo city right third is <coughs> we need to print those cities to make exactly one change of flights right only one city should be there right all right so guys these are three pointers and we are going to refer these while writing the final query all right so first of all let me remove this all right so guys first of all let's start with the flights table and in this table we are given start port code and the end port code right and we are not given the city name so for city name corresponding to these ports we need to extract that from the airports table because in the airports table we have the port code and the city name so it is clear that we need to join these tables right the flights table and the airports table but how to perform this so in order to make it easier for you guys to understand i have created some visual in the excel file so let's go to excel and explore this right all right so guys the first table highlighted in green is the flights table so let me write it here flights table right and these two tables are the airports table right so now in the flights table both these columns start port and end port have the codes so we would be needing the city name for both of these columns so in order to get that we need to join the flights table with this airport table twice now why twice because in the first join we need to fetch the city names corresponding to the start ports right similarly in order to fetch the city names against these end ports we need to make this join again right so it is clear that we need to join this flights table with the airports table twice right so now let's go back to the mysql editor and let's start writing the final query right so select so i will be giving alias f to the flights table and alias a to the airports table right now select f dot start port right f dot end port so i will be taking the start port and the end port from the flights table right now further corresponding to this start port i want the city name so i will be using a dot city name right from so guys we discussed that we'll be joining it twice so in the first join i will be giving it alias a and in the second join i will be giving it an alias a2 right so a dot city name and a2 dot city name right so let me give an alias to these two things as well so a dot city name is representing the start city right similarly a2 dot city is representing as end city right now the first join will be happening flights f join airports on start port so f dot start port equals to a dot port code right now join airports table again uh, i forgot to mention the alias a a2 right on f dot and port equals to a2 dot port code right so let's execute this to see the output great so guys now we have the start port end port start city and the end city so this is what we wanted to achieve right so now instead of port codes we can play around with city names because this is what we wanted to print in the final output right now let me put this in a ct with ct as 
right so i am putting this in a ct because this is the first part that we have achieved now moving further the ask here is that we need to find the flights which are starting from new york right so what we can do so this is the flights table this is the new flights table which we are calling cte right now select so now from this table right this new ct that we just have created i want to filter out those records where the flight is starting from new york right so i will be writing start city comma and city from cte right so now there are two condition that we need to mention here so the first condition would be start city equals to new york right because we just want to filter out those flights which are starting from new york right now there is one important thing to notice that we just want those flights which are starting from new york and are not going directly to tokyo right therefore we need to mention and and city should not be equal to tokyo right now let's execute this all right so guys we are able to filter out those flights or records which are starting from new york and not going to tokyo right so this is the second part that we have achieved so let me put this in another ct so let's call the ct as start city as this right so guys now we have created this start city ct right now on this similar grounds what we can do we can create another ct by the name end city because we want to filter out those records where end city is tokyo right so select start city comma and city from ct now again there will be two conditions the first condition would be end city equals to tokyo right because we want those records with where flight is ending in tokyo right and the other condition would be the start city should not be equal to new york because we do not want the direct flights right so start city should not be equal to new york right so let's execute this once all right so guys here we have the start city and end city column and the end city is tokyo in this case right so guys now let's go to the excel sheet and let's try to visualize our next steps right okay so guys now we are at the excel file so here i have pasted the output of this start city ct and the output of this ct and city right so guys on the left side i have the flights which are starting from new york and not going to tokyo directly right and on the right side i have the other flights which are starting from these cities and ending in tokyo right now we are just interested in the connecting flights which are starting from new york and ending in tokyo so for that what we can do we can simply take an inner join of these two tables right and the joining condition could be we can equate this column of this ct against this column of this ct right because if a person is starting from new york reaching to any of these cities so these are the flight options available to him to go to tokyo right so if we equate this we will get the connecting flights right so guys now let's go back to the editor and write the final query all right so before that let me put this part in the ct right and city as all right so now what do we want first of all let's equate these right so i will be writing a dot star comma b dot star from start 
city a inner join and city b on a dot and city equals to b dot start city so guys the reason behind this joining condition we have just discussed in the excel file right now let's execute this to see the final output right all right so guys here we have the details but in the final output we just want to print the city where the person is taking a halt right so for that either you can take the end city from this table or the start city from this table both will give you the same result right and since we just want the distinct cities so i will be writing distinct right so distinct or uh, let's write the a dot and city as cities so let's execute this to see the final output great so guys this is the desired output we are able to print the cities where we are taking the halt right so guys now let me give you a recap of all these steps right so first of all we have created a ct and in the ct we have joined the flight table with the airport table twice so that against the start port and end port we can fetch the city names right now this is the first ct further in the next ct what we have done we have filtered out those flight details which are taking off from new york and are not going to tokyo directly right similarly in the next ct we have filtered out those flights which are not starting from new york and ending at tokyo right so these are the ending flights now at the end what we have done we have taken an inner join on this condition right so that we can fetch the flight details which are connecting right which are starting from new york connecting at some common city then from that particular city the person is going to tokyo right so guys this way we can attempt these kind of problems right i know at the beginning when we started reading this problem it seemed pretty complex right but the easiest way of doing these kind of problems is break your solution into multiple parts because it will be easier for you to visualize things step by step and writing the final query right guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this problem statement so guys in this video we have discussed one way of attempting this problem if you have any another cool way of doing this please do share it with us in the comment section below right and if you have any query or any any concern just let us know in the comment section below i'll try to resolve them as soon as possible also if you have any problem statement and you want me to make a solution video on that you can reach out to me on my whatsapp linkedin or instagram right all the details are mentioned in the description section below so guys thank you for watching this video do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this so guys keep learning keep growing see you in the next video